Yo, yo, it's your boy J to the Mode X. So, man, y'all go check up and sit down on the pluguf.com. Make sure that's mandatory. Man, I'm going to get my take on the young Dolph situation, man. Today marks a day. Another young, innovative, and talented, business wise young black brother has been robbed for his life. Um, man, my take on it, man, is. It's the same old soup, just reheated. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't matter who you are, how successful you are, what you accomplished, um, who, what you have done for others or anything like that. If you put, if you stay in the gutter, you're gonna always smell like shit. And you know, I'm not privy to everything, what was going on with Dolph, why he was in, in the neighborhood or why was he where was where he was but um we have to understand when level when you rise to a level you have to stay and elevate and going up levels <clears throat> and that means you have to keep yourself well protected from the lower levels because you know a person could just skip levels but a person just somebody some young dude just skip levels to to the other levels by just murdering an icon, you know what I'm saying, and and we we can't, you know, continuously let ourselves be available to the to the tricks of the trade, and you know I I don't know what was going on in that young man's life though, you know what I'm saying, I met him personally before brief and passing, um, I have a good, good couple of folks that's more way more personal with him, they rock with him, my little brother one of them, you know rock with him real real tough so and all I was always told he was a good dude and he looked out he was a good guy he looked out for people and, and basically you know try to pull other people up and put them in positions and situations and you know stuff like that so in my opinion he was a good dude he was cordial cool when I met him and um, he, he, you know that, that's what they say about the guy but that don't mean good people don't have demons that don't mean good people don't do street things. That don't mean good people don't be involved in bad and, and, and treacherous things and, 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 and uh, things that can cause your harm, your death and demise. Um, it, it's the way, it's the rules of the jungle. And if you continue to place yourself and be a part of that jungle, these rules do not hold back for not no one no matter what kind of wealth or fame or, or anything that person has, these rules do not bend for no one. So that it is what it is in that sort, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying, any, insinuating that Dolph was involved in the streets or whatever or not. I'm just speaking on what my, my reaction on the, 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 the things that people are saying on social media, really. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that other people are saying and this and this and that in the comments about his passing. And and that's really what my reaction is more to, trying to give uh, a, a, a clarity, a real reality of what goes on in this type of situation. You know what I'm saying? Brothers, um, you know, are obligated to their city. Like, nobody want to not be able to go back to their city. You know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes... Uh, these deadly places can make you relax and you feel relaxed and you feel safe and you, you know, and it's just always a time and place where someone can get an upper hand and beat you to the jump and end up taking your life. So that's why people always say you have to elevate and move on from that situation. And when you do come back, you have to move accordingly. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a shame. And, you know, I hear a lot of people like, this only happened in the black community and this thing. This happened in everybody community. You just don't know about it because you're not from that community. They have their own social issues and within them too. White people kills white people. It, uh, Mexicans kills Mexicans and Asians kill Asians. That's what happens. It's not as big as in, in numbers because they're not, sit, they're not, um, Going through a situation, or coming, or, or been through situations of us who, that that had key separation issues, that, where where the oppressor uh, focused in on separation of people in, in each other to make us be competition towards each other. So, and that's not an excuse, you know, per se. It's just a, a just a little bit deeper hole to climb out of when you're climbing out of something and there are things piling on you. They study putting things on your shoulder. So. Um, 
man, you know, in these streets, in the, in, the, in the entertainment business, people like, you know, all these rappers dying, this and this, that, because these rappers come from the streets and they don't detach, detach themselves from the streets. They don't, they don't let the streets go. And, and they, uh, you know, continuously to be active in one way or the other. You know, you don't have to be around and all that type of stuff to be active. You don't have to uh, give guns and, mon and money and stuff to be active. There's a lot of ways to be active within the situation to, for you to be involved, for a person to be involved, and for them to be took as an opposition from the opposition. So, you know, a lot of things happen, man, and it don't matter. The people who hate you and, and want to murder you don't care how much money you got. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh a lot of the jealousy and the level of 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 um, hate comes from success. You know what I'm saying? And to the people, man, nobody really basic. It, it's 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 very rare that people die for nothing. Like people, oh, he died for nothing. Oh, you know, I always hear that he didn't. Do, like man, people don't murder for nothing. So, and I'm not saying that against Dolph or any victims of murder. What I'm saying is that it, it's a lot to work on. Like people have to understand what we got. What as a people, as as a family, as your community, as your village, you we have to work on that internally because these things are happening and everybody's got opinions, but they don't really conquer their own issues. They own little cousins, they own sons, they own daughters, they own uh, nephews, they own best friends' kids. They like. The, People know that what's com happening and who's committing the violence, but yet still don't be proactive about it. So it's a time right now where we need to get proactive about this and make this, make these situations come back to it. Like the, just the music need to go back to entertainment, man. Entertainment, it, the music is here to entertain. It's not here to be the realest out in, in the streets and all that. It's here to entertain and give people an option, a way out of these situations, these environments that's causing these type of situations. It's, a, it's People put it too much on a pedestal about who real and who this and who that and who cap and all that stuff, man. It, cap, I mean, the, real, the realness is, the only thing the realness at the end of the road is Hella bullets or jail cell or a rat giving up your whole dignity. Yeah, like you just, everything about you, you, you just submit to the man. Like that's the whole worst thing to ever do is to, to, to give your integrity up like that and turn it to turn against something. And I don't mean rap, uh, witnesses, square. People who don't, and who's not involved in things, witnessing things and telling and stuff like that, that are pedophiles on pedophiles. That is not on the record. Rats are people who partake in criminal activities. And when they're caught, instead of manning up, they choose to give up other criminals for their better serving. That is what a rat do. So th that's the difference. A witness and a rat is two different things. Oh, you snitch, you you shouldn't have been doing crime in front of a witness. That's the whole thing about the streets. People don't really understand it. They really never come from it. They just hear the myth of it and really don't understand what what, what it was. But it's it's gone. That is game over. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a different day and age. It's time to use the street smarts to elevate people and put that into these brilliance of these kids and, 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 and your peers and your family and create family wealth and, and pride pride back into the community. The family, man, they did us. They took away our family values and now we're out here crazy. We don't care. You don't love at home. You don't love your family. You don't have the love of the family. You going out in the streets, just bringing, in, or bringing all that to the table outside. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do when you get out of jail? You gonna have some fun and that's it. So y'all uh, go up there, to make sure y'all go to pluguplugup.com and check out the sit down. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's an audio podcast I'm doing. It, um, I got about 13 of them up there. Um, I'll be interviewing people. We have some deep discussions, some some artists, some other people, just business people. And we get down some deep discussions and we keep them coming. I do like two a week. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go up there and check it out, man. Straight to the motor XO.